Hello and good day. My name is Jason Montoya and today I'm going to be taking us through the approval process. This is a new set of features we've launched for Brainleaf and we're excited to share them with you. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, our first step is we're going to go ahead and create a new project. I'm just going to go ahead and create a fake project um, for test, uh, just to show you this process. Go ahead and add a tag. I will uh, create it as a new project, as a website. Go ahead and add a new client here and uh, I'm not going to add a logo at this time and I'll hit all done all right we're now in our new project so I'm going to go ahead and add a template by clicking on the templates I'm going to click on the brain leaf templates example projects go ahead and add a theme based template here all right as you can see um, as I close over here on the templates tab over on the right we have a send for approval this is the, essentially how to use the new um, approval process. But before we do that, I want to go ahead and click Manage up at the top and then Clients. Something we want to um, do to edit our client in order to uh, make sure that our contracts are done correctly, we need to add our address. So I'm going to go ahead and add an address to the process or to the client. And uh, go ahead and hit update, and then I'm going to head back to my projects tab, and then I'm going to open up the project I just created. At this point, I'm going to click send for approval, and this is where I need to add the emails for the people that I want to send this to. So I'm going to go ahead and add my email just so that we can see the email um, that comes to the client so you have an idea of what to expect um, for them. So I'm going to go ahead and add an email, and I'm going to click out of that. As you can see, there is not a can contact found. So I need to click here to create a new one. So I'm going to hit Jason. Once this contact has been created, all I have to do is begin typing them and the, typing their email or name in the future and it'll give me an autofill option to in, um, to add them. So we'll only need to add them once. I'm going to go ahead and hit next step. At this point I don't have a contract so I need to go ahead and add one. So I'm going to create a contract here. I'm just name it fake contract. Um, fake description. I'm going to go ahead and paste the contract in here. And uh, if you see uh, on your screen you'll see a, a little hammer here or a law button. This allows us to add the customer's name, their address, project link, project price, project title, date. Um, and so what we can do is we can inject these different items throughout our contract wherever those elements are relevant. Um, each one's, each person is going to have a different contract, so we give you that flexibility to put it in where, where you need it. I'm just going to go ahead and add these at the top um, so that when we get the uh, to the later in the process, you'll be able to see how this information is automatically populated. So I'm going to hit Save Contract. Um, at this point, we've now got a contract here, which we can preview. As you can see, it's now populated the information. I'm going to go ahead and select this and then hit Next Step. This is our confirmation and this is where we can make some adjustments, um, preview it before we send and ultimately send for approval. There are three options that we have. We can allow the client to decline individual items. So if we want to give them the, the ability not just approve or disapprove the whole project, but to decline maybe an element of that project. We can allow the client to see the navigation tree. For short, smaller scopes, we definitely recommend turning that off as it's not necessary, but for longer more in-depth scopes, it is very helpful for moving around in the scope. And then the last is, is the ability to hide the details of the tasks so that only the top level pricing is available. We can also add a message, um, type in um, any message you want to include with the client. Um, I'll go ahead and just add a message that I might include. At this point, we're going to go ahead and select the first two options, and then I'm going to click Preview Approval Page. This allows us to see what the client's going to see before we go there. As you saw, I clicked here to preview the scope. As you can see in this, we've got our navigation on the left, which we have the ability to turn off, and we have the ability to decline sections, as you can see. We can turn this ability off as well. Um, as a, If a client were to accidentally click on Decline the Section, they can reinstate it um, very easily. Um, Similar to the rest of Brainleaf, we've got the collapse and expand options. 
We've got our feature list, which is what you see here, the project description. We have a project rates, which break down the project by percentage um, and gives an estimate of each element of the project. And we can also download the contract or download the printable scope at this point. And as you see at the top right, the client can click approve or decline. If they click approve, approve they'll need to enter their, their name and then agree to the terms and conditions. And then they can hit I understand and agree or I do not agree. They can also decline it by clicking the decline. They'll enter their message into, as to why, and they can enter their name and then send the message and decline to work. So we're gonna go ahead and close this and go ahead and send for approval so you can see what that email looks like. We'll get a pop-up that says this is sent to the recipients that we've added. In my case, I've sent it to one and we can expect our email to be received within 10 minutes. Now, in most cases, it's gonna be within a minute or two. And so, um, we, but in some cases it could be up to 10 minutes. As you can see here, we've, we've gotten it within less than a minute. And it says that I've been asked to review the estimate. So me as the client it has the message that I included. It also is attached a PDF of the contract with the dynamically added elements, as well as our project scope. If we hit, go ahead and hit the get started button, we'll see that page that we saw when we were previewing it all the same functions and features. I'm gonna go ahead and prove this just so you can see what that looks like. So I'm gonna add my name here, Jason Montoya. And I'm gonna hit agree. And then I'm gonna hit I understand and agree. All right, I will now receive an email within a few moments that is letting me know that the project has been approved and it'll attach um, the updated scope in P uh, as a PDF and the contract as well. Here's the email, thank you for approving. The email confirms that you approved the scope for fake project for the price of X dollars, in this case 5613 on 11 4 to 11 15. The PDF of our terms of work and contract as well as the scope have been attached. So as we saw them before, here they are. And we can now begin our project. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us, check out our blog, or fill out the provide feedback button within Brainleaf. Thank you very much, and this is Jason Montoya signing off.